Beneficiaries ng Child Development Center ng Christian Life Center. Itong mga nakaraang buwan nang biglang lumaganap ang COVID-19 sa buong mundo, ay bigla rin nagbago ang lahat sa buhay ko. May mga pinatupad na batas at mga bagong kaparaanan para sa kapakanan ng lahat. Isa sa mga kasama nitong nagbago ay ang sistema ng pag-aaral. Ang mga paaralan ay napilitang magsara, kaya naman lahat ng mga estudyante ay naapektuhan at kasama na ako doon. Kaya naman, isa sa mga pinaka naging challenge sa akin sa panahon ito ay ang aking pag-aaral. Nahirapan akong mag-coop up sa panibagong sistema ng pag-aaral dahil na din unang-una sa signal. Um, pangalawa sa internet connection. Kasama rin naapektuhan ng pandemyang ito ang mga trabaho at ang pagtatrabaho ng aking mga magulang. Kaya naman minsan nahiya na akong humingi ng pera pang load. During this time of pandemic, may... Marami talagang ni-reveal si Lord sa amin. Sa akin, kaya masasabi ko na this time of pandemic is a time of exposing. Stars in the 
the Lord opened my eyes to see those things na hindi ko lang pinapasin kasi akala ko wala lang at akala ko wala na. Mas binigyan ng pagkakataon ng Panginoon na mas pahalagahan ko ang aking relasyon sa Kanya at sa aking pamilya. Mas nakita ko ang aming pangangailangan ng pagmamahal ng Panginoon at ang Kanyang biyaya. Dahil dito, mas nagnanais akong ipadama ang pagmamahal ng Panginoon at sa mga panahong ding ito ay may mga taong nilalagay si Lord sa puso ko para ipanalangin ang tulid din to Jesus. I ask myself, what am I going to do to make sure everyone feels like they have someone to talk to? And how can I still be visible in people's lives to remain connected to them? Dahil dito, gumawa ako ng mga paraan na kahit naka-quarantine ng lahat ay hindi masayang ang oras. Nagpaglaro at nag-share ako sa family ko, naging sa mga kaibigan ko patungkol sa mga bagay na natututunan ko sa paglago sa Panginoon. Isa sa mga natutunan ko sa panahon ito ay ang pahalagaan ang lahat ng bagay na nasa atin bago pa ito mawala. Pahalagaan ang oras, magpasalamat sa kung anong meron tayo, habaan ang pasensya at igit sa lahat, magpasalamat sa lahat ng oras sa Panginoon at magtiwala sa Kanya sa lahat ng panahon. Kaya naman, kahit na madalas ay kinakapos kami sa pinansyal na bahagi ng aming buhay ay nagpapasalamat pa rin kami kay Lord kasi... Siyang nagpo-provide ng aming mga pangangailangan kasama sa pagtitiwala at sa pananampalataya sa Panginoon ang mga minsay nararamdaman nating pagdududa o pag-aalinlangan. Pero huwag nating kalimutan ang uling sinabi ni Jesus. Ako'y laging kasama niyo hanggang sa wakas ng panahon.
Good evening. Uh, when I was young, I loved Christmas because during uh, these days, uh, my whole family will come together, our grandmother's house, and uh, we celebrate the uh, together. I remember I received a lot of gifts back then. I also remember uh, I was involved in the Christmas drama. Sometimes I act as a king in the drama, but. Uh, most of the time I act as a Joseph. I think I was quite big boy. Uh, that is why uh, always they put me uh, act as a Joseph. Uh, we also practice Christmas songs and Christmas is a very important celebration for the Filipinos. When I first came to Philippines I was uh, surprised to see uh, Filipinos excitement about Christmas. I love Christmas celebration here in Philippines because Philippine celebration is as a family. Uh, why is uh, why is it so important? Uh, I like to share one uh, story. A man uh, woke up on Christmas morning. For him Christmas does not have any meaning. He told uh, his wife and children that he will not celebrate this Christmas. He will not uh, go to church, but his uh, wife and children went to church. Uh, he 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 stay at home. Normally, Christmas uh, time is Europe countries very cold and snow. The man saw uh, from his uh, window some small birds uh, birds uh, outside the house. He knew that some birds will die from frozen if they will uh, just stay outside so he thought of 
bringing them inside house when he went out to bring them to them in the bird flew away from him he tried many times to get the birds but uh, whenever he approached them they flew away then he sat on the chair and start to think how how can i help them but the problem was that he cannot he cannot communicate with these birds then he thought if he can become a bird as uh, become a bird he can tell and explain to them that uh, they can come in house for their place uh, the house is safe safety and only then he understood what is the meaning of the christmas christmas is about lord jesus christ who came into the world and live among us he show us the way to god uh, john 1:14 says and the word became the flesh and dwelt among us and we saw his glory the glory as for the only begotten from the father full of grace and truth in the philippines there are many tourist spot and we can visit too uh, there are, there are also many tourists who come and enjoy the place and then after they go back their home i was in baguio more over 5 years uh, baguio is a very famous tourist spot i saw many tourists who come and go i do not know them they also do not know me well the they uh, they are just just simply visiting in baguio but i have a some some good friends who are live in baguio i know them well and they also know me well we have a develop good relationship they know what is my favorite food and i know they are favorite food and uh, they know my personal problem they are personal problem i know i think you understand here what is the meaning of to live and what is the meaning visiting jesus did not visit the earth he lived among the people he knew them and people can know him uh main point is this christmas is very important because jesus christ came and lived among us let us put in uh, mind that the story i told you early the man who want to help the save birds but he cannot explain to them if we will give attention to the genesis 1 that says in the beginning god created heaven and the earth we can clearly see that the uh, bible explain how god created this world and the bible tell us that god made man and woman is uh, in his own image and gave them everything but our first parent reject their relationship with god they start to live on what they want to do because they lost their relationship with god they start to think about their own interests then sin create uh, sin enter the world because of sin man inherited the inherited war sickness family problem and corruption but then the bible say that the solution for this problem is that to uh, pro- problem is to make a right relationship with god but the problem is that people do not know how to make right relationship with god that's why god sent his one uh, only son to the earth to live among us uh, jesus did not come to the earth as a great king or a great political leader he came from small family he chose for uh, himself not to be in a king palace but in a small manger in 2000 years ago because everyone can go there to meet him today uh, he is also with us we can reach him without uh, with with out uh, any payment anything only thing we have to uh, do is just call to him he is listen to even if you do not have any important words to say i like to say a small story in sri lanka uh, his name is uh, gold raja uh, he was a criminal what happened uh, is that he did lot of drug deal and lot of you know corruption he, he involved in lot of criminal activity he went into the prison many times one day he was put in dark prison cell where just small beam of light come in 
His food is uh, served uh, wrapped with the newspapers. Uh, then one of the newspaper mentioned about Jesus. He told God inside the prison cell, God, are you true? Can you reveal to me? And uh, what happened? God uh, touched his heart. His, uh, his heart. His life changed. Uh, then he, he got opportunity to release from the prison. Then he started to attend the church. His life changed. Now he has he has he, he developed very good ministry, and uh, his he already did, but his his ministry still continue. Uh, that's what he he was in prison. He called God. We can anybody can reach God, and because of Jesus Christ. And uh, finally, I want to say Christmas is about Lord Jesus Christ who came down to earth and live among us. Uh, he is guide us to us safe place which is called heaven we can call to him anytime anywhere this is the uh, this is the reason christmas is very important and why we are celebrating it god bless you Muli, baligay Pasko sa ating lahat.